So the U.S. military, is there a rivalry to your experience? Not at all, not in the least. I mean, sometimes when you, like if we'll, we'll send units there, they'll deploy there to do uh, joint training. And then it's a good natured inter-service rivalry. Right. Same as the, you know, the Navy and the Marines or the Army Marines have that, you know, it, yeah. but it's good natured, it's just spirit of just good natured competition. That's it. Uh, is there uh, a feeling of camaraderie, you feel? Oh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. You're an Irish Catholic from Brooklyn. <laughs> well, I've, I've got a strange, just like my career path uh, is odd, my religious, you know, I, I was born Catholic, but not at all observant, uh, then left religion altogether, and then converted to Judaism, and I still consider myself Jewish. Uh, your, how about your son? How, what kind of a, a, a path, a, a religious path, has he taken? Well, you know, I think it wasn't until after, well after his, well, let me think now, he got bar mitzvahed, and I was actually, it's funny, I missed all the major life events with my son. He was, uh, I missed just a, many of his birthdays. I missed his uh, high school graduation. I was in Iraq. I missed his bar mitzvah. I was in Afghanistan. Um, I think I was home. No, I was away for his college graduation. Um, but he uh, slowly but surely became observant, and he's an Orthodox Jew. So how religious did he become? Oh, he's super. He's, he's not Hasidic, but he's very observant, Orthodox um, in every sense. I mean, extremely. I went, you know, I, I went to visit him. Um, Last year in Jerusalem, it was just, I tell everyone, don't go to London, don't go to Paris until after you see Jerusalem. Then you can see the rest of the world. Uh, I wasn't there even a day, and I said, I cannot wait to come back. Just phenomenal. I don't understand really why Jordan has control of so much of it. Um, but that's for higher levels of diplomacy, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. So what would you say to people who've been exposed to the idea that uh, a strong Israel is not in America's best interest? Oh, God, it couldn't be more wrong. Could not be more wrong. It is in the world's best interest to have the Jew a Jewish state, in, especially in charge of that place. Because uh, all faiths have access to their holy places? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and... and uh, I would venture to say, I don't have a crystal ball, but if it were any other way, that that would not be the case. People would be excluded from, from being there. Uh, As it was when Jordan ruled. Exactly, exactly. I, I would like to say though, on a total non sequitur, the, the family is in there of the of one of the young soldier that was slain. Can't imagine. I gave them uh, the mom and dad each a Marine Corps challenge coin. I, I couldn't even stay. I gave it to them. I thanked them and, and in honor of their daughter, but I was going to break down. Israeli parents put up with a lot? Gosh, yeah. Well, I mean, any parent of a service member anywhere, you know, you always wonder. Because it's not just war. I mean, there's training accidents and everything else. It's, it's a dangerous profession. But uh, for the Israelis, it never seems to... You know, it's hard for us in this country to comprehend being surrounded by basically people sworn to eliminate you. Um, every package you see might be a bomb. Every person coming through the, the gate might be armed. It's. Uh... But I will say this, though. I never felt safer than when I was in Jerusalem because everyone's armed. Well, the good guys, anyway. <laughs> You know they're there to protect you. Absolutely, yeah. And if they weren't armed, uh, well, then the bad guys would be armed, and more people would be dead. Thank you for coming here tonight. It's a great honor to have you here Thanks again. For me. God bless you.